Welcome uh, back our dear uh, viewers, indeed a very important uh, visit uh, to Egypt uh, by uh, U.S. Secretary of uh, State Antony Blinken. Earlier today, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi met with uh, the visiting uh, U.S. Secretary of State, which uh, ha they both held talks uh, which centered on means of uh, foster bilateral uh, ties as well as ongoing efforts to reach a ceasefire in Gaza as efforts to secure an elusive uh, ceasefire were further complicated by the wave of blast in Lebanon. Also after the talks, uh, the U.S. Secretary of State uh, and uh, Foreign Minister Dr. Badr Abdel Aati held a joint uh, press conference where they discussed uh, with the um, uh, attendees uh, the uh, topics of discussions that were uh, taking place between the two top uh, diplomats. Also, uh, the uh, strategic uh, relations binding the two uh, countries uh, were um, uh, tackled, as well as uh, the cooperation between both uh, the United States and Egypt. These were the most important uh, topics that were uh, discussed and mentioned during the uh, joint press confer conference as well as the strategic role that Egypt is uh, playing in solving and finding a solution for uh, the uh, situation in the Gaza Strip and the mediation efforts between uh, Gaza uh, and uh, Israel, between Hamas and the Israelis and indeed Egypt and Qatar are uh, playing very important role in these uh, mediation uh, efforts as well. Uh, these were of course uh, the priorities and the top um, uh, discussions during uh, the joint uh, press conference and the talks between the two top diplomats. Uh, indeed a very important visit by the U.S. Secretary of State to Egypt. To shed more light on that, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Dr. Ahmad Mustafa, the international relations expert. Uh, good day to you, sir. Yeah, good day to you. Uh, Dr. Mustafa, uh, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is visiting Egypt, which is the tenth visit to uh, the region since the genocide war by Israel against the uh, Gaza Strip. Uh, from your point of view, how do you see the timing and the importance of such a visit? Indeed, and uh, uh, as the U.S. Secretary of State uh, actually uh, uh, highlighted and hailed the Egyptian uh, role in mediating the, um, uh, the talks in order to find a solution for the situation, which is very alarming. Uh, in my view, there were uh, like two folds uh, impact of this uh, visit. Uh, the scenario which is maybe proposed by the United States that Egypt may uh, push uh, the reluctance represented in uh, Hamas and Qassam and Jihad uh, and all the fighting uh, parties uh, from our reluctance and our uh, Arabic side just to yield to their mm. what's so called their uh, malicious and diabolic plan, mm. I think uh, they are completely mistaken because uh, we uh, don't find any progress is taking place and uh, uh, if uh, we use uh, over and over again uh, Hamas and uh, that negotiating parties just to yield to the American uh, plans, the American plans unfortunately is fully impacted by this Diabolic Act of the Prime Minister of this mm. uh, Diabolic Entity which is called Israel. I'm talking about Netanyahu, and Netanyahu is not stopping, you know, yes. uh, the killing and the bloodshed and the, the genocide against al Qaeda, and didn't stop even just having some irritations with the neighbor countries, especially Lebanon. And what happened yesterday, mm -hmm. I think it was uh, scandalous for Israel just to have this cyber attack mm -hmm. uh, via, you know, the pages of uh, the civilians. I think this is like unprecedented. Act. Mm. But if we think, uh, Anthony Clinton, and I don't think so, yes. that uh, he will, uh, uh, you know, uh, leave Egypt because Egypt have, uh, mm. has some specific uh, requirements. As you said in your report, the two-state solutions to seize the fire immediately and uh, permanently, and yes. also the, 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 the two-state the two solution, mm. as well as leaving the humanitarian aid just to go immediately for this uh, devastating yes. situation of 
the Palestinian people, especially in our occupied land in oh. uh, Rafah and Gaza, and also the matter of the crossing of uh, Philadelphia, you forgot to, to, to mention that. And whether the U.S. can, can push or not Israel, because it, it seems that U.S. cannot, and they're just fabricating media and some uh, silly uh, TV episodes concerning just pushing Israel to do something, uh, uh, you know, constructive in this regard. Yes. Indeed, uh, Dr. Mustafa, uh, we have uh, just uh, witnessed uh, the joint press conference for uh, about, um, for Foreign Minister uh, Badr Abdel Ati and uh, visiting uh, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. From your point of view, what were the most important topics discussed during the, that joint press conference? Uh, the, uh, well, as you mentioned and as I mentioned uh, recently, uh, plus uh, the points that uh, I highlighted concerning yes. the two-state solution and that Egypt is adhered to this and uh, the ceasefire immediately and the access of uh, mm. the humanitarian aids and uh, medical aids to our Palestinian brothers to uh, Gaza and the place of uh, conflict, uh, in addition to the matter of the crossing of Philadelphia, because if you want Egypt just to push uh, Hamas, should yes. you f respect the, the uh, uh, Camp David Accords to do that, as well as uh, to keep the strategic dialogue uh, between the two countries, and I don't, I don't think that uh, this dialogue will be constructive and effective in the future as long as they are allowing to Israel and the West allowing to Israel because Israel is their representative in the Middle East and representative of their agenda, their malicious agenda mm -hmm. in the Middle East to keep uh, uh, such uh, dialogue and relation as it is before. And also the matter yes. of Lebanon yesterday, Blinken is not, I have to, to, to mention that, yes, Blinken please. will not visit Israel today because Hochstein to date what supposed Blinken to do mm. two, two days before because he gave them the password just to go and having this type of attack uh, yesterday. Yes. Therefore, he, he just wants to stay away and make like a denial of what happened. Yes. Uh, uh, seriously, sir, as you have kindly mentioned with this uh, uh, attack which uh, did uh, take place yesterday in Lebanon, uh, what steps is Egypt uh, advocating for uh, to prevent further escalation and how might it work with the regional uh, and international We, ha we have to partners. abstain from dealing with U.S. communications companies like Qualcomm, for example, or just we have to check all the uh, tools or all the phones that we have or the pages or things like that, and we have to give them warning yes. that it will affect, of course, not just the strategy of the United States because it seems that CIA is the main party because the company is a Taiwanese company which is a gold Apollo and I wrote an article in this morning this company already intercepted by both Mossad and CIA because as you know that Taiwan is yielded to the United States and there is like maybe a police interrogation over there from the authorities uh, with, uh, with the companies and how mm -hmm. uh, could they supply such uh, you know, uh, infiltrated, uh, mm. you know, equipment to uh, a country without having like a full control or things like that. I think uh, this, uh, this issue is yes. very dangerous and we should take the, the proper approaches in this regard uh, before uh, having any deal with like telecommunications companies and things like that. Even, you know, the, uh, 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 like uh, uh, the programming or the software, also we have to uh, have the proper cautious, I'm talking mm. about Windows and things like that, because we don't know whether they have this espionage against us or not. Yes, indeed, Dr. Ahmed Mustafa, our international relations expert. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, your precious input and for being with us, our dear viewers. With that, we come to the end of our special coverage for the visit by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken to Egypt.